All right, I'm back. I uh, went on a little treasure hunt. Which I don't think I found all the statues. <coughs> I found a few though. I, I wasn't keeping count. Damn, I only got one. So I'm missing one. Okay, got all of them. I think there's eight statues in total. I'm missing one. Hmm. Alright, I'll worry about that later. Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. Remember, I bought something. Here we go. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, the speed. Ooh. Damage not that good, though. The sp mm. Speed and deflex maxed out, though. I'll just grab this one for now. Okay. No one was the one that bought, I think. Yeah, it's all right. What's over here? Clothing. I think there was something else that I bought. Uh, inventory. Outfits. No. Items. No. 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 Something. But for one of the other assassins. Leave me alone. Here! Leave me 
Build my back, but then again, I would pop my back in like two years. Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene. Then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike. Pronti? Yeah, let's go kill this loser. My horse following me? It is. Alright Ezio, here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. I'll attack them! Oh, do I have a burp? Right, well done, Ezio. We are in. Yeah. This way, men. Hold on. No, come on, the fl fl flower, <laughs> feather. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully, it will buy me enough time to find and silence Vieri. Va bene. Wait, nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. Up to now. Man, no one knows. Oh, one man arm. How else to explain all the patrols? Oh, I'll signal again when you should follow. Oh no, are you higher than what? Got 
Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. Where? Oh. He's just standing there, taking the beating. Ah, the Pope. There you are. It seems my plan is to come from a snack. The early men ambushed me. Now we're gonna have to. My brother and I will deal with these guns. I want you to go on ahead and root up that snake. See that justice is done. Okay, kill them. My Monty Lowell going up. Is this not an enemy who's based on him or kingdom? You idiot. It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we've finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of understanding, understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. It just pulls a giant axe out of his pocket. I saw that. planning is this what my father discovered is this why he was killed uh, i'm sorry were you hoping for a confession pezzo di merda vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più hai avuto la fine che meritavi spero che bru enough Ezio. show some respect respect after all that's happened do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness you are not Fieri. Do not become him. 
Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. Vieri di Pazzi, the youngest member of the second most notorious Florentine banking family, this kid knew how to burn right through his father's money. Outside of spending sprees involving weaponry, exotic animals and clothes, he was fiercely competitive. Vieri hosted races of all kinds, boating, horseback riding, running, all of them rigged of course. And get this, if through some amazing stroke of luck he ever lost, he'd invite the winner's entire family over for a victory dinner and serve them a meal to die for. Mr. Francesco, I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Vieri is brash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him, as you put it, beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were it to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence, Fra Giocondo.